Bryce, your, your reaction to how far uh, Schwaber hit the ball? Yeah. <laughs> it was far. <laughs> what did that, in addition to getting the extra run, did that boost the team, like, momentum-wise or, you know, give the team even more life at that point? Yeah, I mean, I think that's a really good team over there, right? Um, <clears throat> so I, I think as many runs as you can score in any situation um, is huge for your team. And I thought Wills was throwing the ball really well. Um, so I thought if we got a couple more, um, we could shut the door and, um, you know, go up one nothing. So um, I thought that was really big by Schwarber hitting that bomb, um, you know, going up 2 nothing, And then, um, you know, Wills doing what he did. And then Sir Anthony coming in and doing what he did. And Alvarado, I mean, they were both lights out. So it was a lot of fun. Bryce, what did the Kyle Schwarber home run sound like and look like? Yeah, I thought it got pretty small, uh, pretty fast, right? Um, I mean, it's uh, I've never seen a ball, you know, go go up in that in that section of, of uh, you know Petco Park. So, um, just very impressive. I mean, just wow. Okay, Scott. Zach said it was he's he doesn't often see things like that even in batting practice. Um, when, when Kyle, given the power that he has, um, even when he's struggling like he was one for 20, do you always kind of feel like that swing is in there and that he can take a ball and do that with it? Yeah, I mean, uh, even when he's struggling or anything's going, um, you know, bad or anything like that, or he's, or he's up and down and stuff like that, you always know that he's one swing away. I mean, one swing away from hitting a double or one swing away from hitting a homer like that or putting us ahead or um, just having a really good at bat. You know, I think he's, he's had some pretty good at bats, just hasn't, you know, rolled his way. And um, thought he had really good at bats today um, all together. And um, you know, hopefully he takes that into tomorrow. Also, I mean, you've been with Zach now for three years here. And can you describe the confidence level when you know he's taking the mound? I mean, how, how much do you guys sort of feel like it's a, it's a win? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's baseball, right? So anything can happen. Um, anytime a, a pitcher goes out there, he could be the best pitcher in baseball and anything can happen, right? Um, but you're uber confident going into the field that day, just knowing that Wills is going to be on the mound. Um, or Nola, you know, same thing. Um, you know, facing him, you know, when he was with the Mets and, you know, knowing how good he was. And um, he just continues to get better. I mean, I, I think, you know, as a player, I want him to keep pitching for as long as he can because he's very impressive. Um, he works hard. He goes about it the right way. Um, he loves this game. He loves competing. And he, he gets really locked in to what he does. Um, and he just wants to get substantially better. And I think you guys saw that tonight. Um, that's a really good team over there. Um, and he, he really did a great job you know, keeping him off balance and um, pitching to his, his strengths. And um, just thought he was really, really good tonight. OK, let me go back to that, Tyler. Given, given what you know about Zach, I mean, you must have been pretty pumped a few years ago when they signed him. What was your reaction? Do you remember when you found out that they had signed him? And did you envision this kind of setup where you have two aces who can shut down any lineup the way you have? Yeah, I mean, anytime you have a one-two punch um, like that, especially in the postseason, um, you see it with a lot of teams that are really good that end up, you know, kind of going really far in the postseason. You have that one-two punch, and then you have the third guy. Um, and we've been able to do that. You know, I, I think any time those guys take the mound for us, we have you know, all the confidence in the world that they're going to get the job done. Um, and going back to you know, when we signed him, it was kind of like, well, finally, let's go. You know, like, this, this is awesome. This is incredible. You know, he's, he's very, very good. Um, and like I said, he just keeps continually getting better each year. Um, and it's just been a lot of fun to watch. We got here, Todd? Uh, Zach was saying how he tries to keep his emotions in check, but today, you know, Got a little crazy early on, maybe before first pitch, his butterflies are going. I know you talk about being a slow heartbeat guy, but I'm wondering how have you been able to keep your emotions in check? Uh, first NLCS, what yeah. was it like pregame? No, it was great. I mean, it's just, I love this. Like, I just, I really enjoy this situation. I really enjoy coming to ballparks that are hostile. Um, I don't know, I just, I really enjoy it. I really do. I, I mean, Growing up, I played in a lot of hostile environments as well, and I know it's not the big leagues. Um, but at the same time, you know, when you're 11 years old and you're playing in front of 5,000 people, that's a lot, right? So I'm not saying that's bigger than this or anything. Um, but it kind of gets you prepared. You know, a lot of these guys, even, you know, Manny or Nikki, or um, we all played USA Baseball too. So we went into a lot of hostile environments. You know, when we were younger at the age of 16, 17, trying to win a gold medal. Um, so this is kind of just, I love it. Like I just, I live for this moment. I, I live for these opportunities to be here. 
Um, and it's just a lot of fun for, for all of us to have that opportunity. So I think we're all great for that opportunity. I think you know, playing in front of a fan base like this that loves their team um, is a lot of fun. And I'm excited to you know, get out there tomorrow and do the same thing. Can we talk about uh, your home run for a sec? Did you think it was out? I mean, you, you hit it pretty high, pretty high. I don't know what you thought. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Um, you know, I, I thought I barreled a couple tonight that I had an opportunity. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think uh, that one just, it was just enough. You know, I think, you know, Matt Williams, it's funny thinking about it because Matt Williams always used to say it's not how far, it's how many, you know. So uh, that was just enough. And you're, you're clearly swinging the bat well this postseason. That, that out to end the first inning, can you kind of, like, take solace in that, that you barreled up another ball just, you know, do you, or do you get frustrated because uh, of the end result? No, I mean, not frustrated. Of course, you want to get that knock right there in the first inning and go ahead one nothing. I mean, that'd be huge for us. Um, but, you know, Cronenworth made a great play. I mean, it's, it's, that's why he's there, and that's why he's really good. So um, got to tip my cap. OK, we're going to do one more over there this, uh, in the back. Right. Uh, Bryce, uh, how big is it to come in here? I know you've done it in the playoffs so far, but to come in here and win this first game of the series? Yeah, it's huge. Anytime you go up 1-0 um, and kind of take home field advantage away from them, it is always big for you. Um, you know, that's what we kind of talk about, just coming in, um, no matter where we're at, playing, um, you know, just trying to win games, no matter what, at, uh, at all costs. So I thought that was a big win today. Um, you know, going up 1-0 um, against a really good San Diego team. You know, we're looking forward to tomorrow. Um, it's going to be a good game. You know, I think Noel's going and, and Snell as well. So, um, we're excited to get going, excited for the opportunity again, and um, you know, take it one out at a time, play 27 of them, and you know, see where we're at. Bryce, I know you follow the game a great deal. You weren't old, well; you were too young when this happened. But have you ever seen the, the famous Bonds home run in the 2002 series? Tim Salmon is mouthing, "I've never seen a ball hit that far in my life." And I, I was thinking of that when Kyle hit his is home that against run against Gagne. I'm sorry. Was that the Gagne one? No, I don't. Percival, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it, it was an amazing home run. I don't know if you've seen that, but that's what came to my mind when I saw the home run. What was going through your mind? Did you think that yourself, something like that? Yeah, I mean, I just it was really far. That's it. I mean, plain and simple, it was really far. <laughs> Bryce, thanks a lot. Cool. Thanks, guys.